Hello, Aquarius. Wow. Um, getting right into your June Love 2023 reading. All right. I feel like that was kind of explosive, wasn't it? I feel like the answers you need are definitely going to be coming this month. So stay on your ground for sure, Aquarius. All right. If something doesn't seem right, it probably is not. Also, your Divine Feminine Energy for the month of June, you have to embrace it here. Yeah. I feel like for some of you, you could have ended things with someone who had a third party energy and this is a permanent ending and it's like your guard is up here. You're focusing on your single, being single, you know, having this freedom here, focusing on your money for a lot of you here. Your guard is up and rightfully so, Aquarius. I feel like you're dealing with a lot of pain here. Yeah, this could be a breakup that's coming in for the month of June. You could have already seen this coming or things have just been rocky. You know, the illusions are going to be released here with the Ten of Swords energy. I'm getting your, you are aware in a connection that, you know, things is just not working out here. And it's like, you want a connection that, you know, someone who's stable here, who knows exactly what they want. And it's like, you have a king of pentacles energy, a new love that is, that will come in, but you have to free yourself from this pads energy over here. It's time to take back control of your life. And then I have true love. Yeah. Cause your true love already has themselves together for, for the month of, june here curry is going retreat mode disconnect from the world and really dive in into this healing okay we are in full moon sagittarius energy for the next two weeks here at the beginning of june and you're going through an awakening please use this energy to release okay keep a positive mindset to manifest exactly what you want the things that have happened were meant for you because they're not meant to be in your life right now so you know focus on yourself grounding healing most importantly be repetitive be persistent because this is confirmation that this past relationship was karmic. This is divine timing literally coming in. And God is saying, you know what? No more. This person has to go. You have better coming in. So, you know, you're going to have these up and down moments, Aquarius, for the month of June. But things will get better, I promise you. Why? Because we have the moon here. It's going to start getting better, you know, around the 20th of June. Um, we're going to be in a full moon in Gemini. Or, or sorry, new moon in Gemini here. I have embraced, most importantly, embrace yourself. Beware of what you are projecting for the qualities you admire in one another or qualities you both possess equally so. The qualities you don't like are also your own reflection. So a lot of purging of her is, right? It's not going to be pretty, but you're going to come out of June um, feeling brand new here. And that's why Spirit is saying, ouch, to keep a positive mindset, right? Focus on what you have right now with the sun card. Continue making money and work on you because the universe got, has your love life, right? Justice is on your side here, Aquarius, all right? You have balance. You need to find balance here. You and this person don't share the same vision here. And most importantly, develop boundaries, okay? Especially if children are involved. You can't just let this person go, right? Because you have to take care of children. But, you know, know that this relationship is over and be firm. Be strong here because you're going to need it. This person always loves to tell you what you need to hear. And then you hop back into their arms. Well, let this month of June be no more. You know, have the strength to leave. Leo Sagittarius energy, right? Because you have options once you let the situation go. You, you, you really do. All right, Aquarius. What do you need to know for the month of June? It's time to take action. Yeah, what is really holding you back here? What do you need to release? Like I said, go on retreat mode and release it. Most importantly, be bold and make the first move and know that confirmation again. Nothing will come out of this situation, unfortunately, Aquarius, okay? As you can see with the death card showing up, this is permanent, okay? Yeah, the lovers in reverse, the nine of wands energy, and the ace of wands. It's only going to lead you to disappointment. So for the month of June, you're really going to think and make a decision about things, you know? But you do have a beautiful new love that is waiting on you. It's kind of like, you know, you're you're kind of um destroying it, like your ego, right? Not thinking about ego, really thinking about what you really want, Aquarius. And it's not a bad thing. It's just redirecting you back towards where the direction that you're that, that you're meant to go in, okay, Aquarius here. So, you know, take the sleep of faith with the nine of wands. Most importantly, dive into your passions, okay? You have to get rid of this codependency type energy and you you know, you will have a spiritual lesson. And again, this new love is going to come um as a result of a sacred union here in marriage. So this person has to go. This is a karmic relationship. Again, nothing will come out the situation. You do have new love that is trying to come in Aquarius, okay? Yeah, love. Unconditional love. Again, this person is stringing you along. It's kind of a lesson in regards to loving yourself here. Welcoming love, opening your heart, getting together perfect, and healing. Healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationship, 
or addiction. You know, you're coming right into your twin flame energy, okay? We have despair and unexpected income. Again, money will increase for the month of June here. You are going to get a message that this person is missing you. But again, you have new love coming in. So stay strong, Aquarius, all right? I'm going to leave it here, guys. Have a wonderful week.